Hello, thanks for tuning in for part five of the Aero Tetris 2.8 meter SR71 Blackbird build. So part five, moving along, and what I'm kind of happy about is that I've put the fuselage aside. Done enough on that, uh, as you've seen on the um, on the videos. So now I'm a we are with Claire is going to help me on this one. Move along to the uh, the wing. Yeah, we're going to crack on. We're going to crack on. Okay, so um, before I start, if you're you know you're new to the Essential RC channel, then maybe you'd like to consider subscribing. Press that button to subscribe, but also remember to click the bell as well so that you get notifications via your preferred method of update. That's that, and also um, again getting good support on this project, getting comments left on the part four video. So um, Lewis said, uh, "Great video." You could fiberglass the surface to give a strong and light skin to the aircraft, keep up the great work. So that was our intention anyway. I think the thing that a lot of people uh, didn't like that I, I was thinking of doing was putting carbon tubes down the outside of each side of the fuselage and flooding the inside of that with, not the inside of the tube, the outside of the tube, inside the fuselage with builder's foam. And some people thought that would actually be a bad idea because it might expand okay. and make the whole fuselage explode. You don't do that. <laughs> Not after I've glued all these 300, well, four, five 500 pieces of foam together, I'd probably cry if that happened. Riley, what does Riley say? Claire? Put my glasses on. Thanks for the mention, Dom. Great progress made. I can't wait to, wait to see it fly. Nor can I. However, that's going to be a while. Yes, it is. If it's in my lifetime, <laughs> I would be amazed. Um, Mr. RC Helijet, fellow YouTuber, very successful YouTuber in the RC world, oh. says, good luck, smile. Oh, that's nice. What does he mean, good luck, smile? Is That's one sentence. Does he mean good luck, smile? Or does he mean good luck, smile? He might just be laughing at you. <laughs> I think a lot of people are probably laughing at me <laughs> on this project. Um, how about that one? James Matrix says, it's Ricky Gervais. I honestly, I don't look like anything like Ricky Gervais, and I'm certainly not even frac a fraction of how funny that guy is. Bruce so, Willis, maybe? Yeah, well, anybody basically who's bald, um, like Bruce Willis, yes. Uh, a great one by um, Rich Chant, uh, a good friend of mine, who has a lot of experience of uh, actually building RC jets, composite jets. He designed one that is now... Um, made by Tom Hawk Design in Germany. And he said, um, glass the outer surface, Dom, will give you all the strength you need as well as prepping the surface for paint. So in his opinion, I don't actually need to add any internal reinforcement, just, you know, glassing the outside of the fuselage should be enough. That's great to hear. So if Rich is the expert, so I'm gonna go with what he says. So anyway, let's move on. The, um, the wing. This is the wing plan. Um, so you can see there how it's built up from the different pieces of foam and you can see the vertical um, carb, uh, carbon tubes, 10 mil. Uh, I've got a couple of those. I'm gonna have to order some more for the other wing. Um, but we can, we can do at least do one side and the fin as well. And the fin has two eight millimeter tubes. That's the dogs downstairs two eight millimeter tubes. So what we need to do first, we've got the okay, we've got the tub here. First thing we need to do is to get organized and just lay things out. So we're, go, we're gonna give you, uh, this is gonna be sped up, obviously. Oh my God, this will take us about an hour. So oh, we're gonna sped us. Really? Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Is that all right with you? Yeah. All right, okay, yeah. three, two, one, go. Okay, so there we go. No better proof than many hands make light work. So we did that in about 10 minutes actually, all the pieces and nothing missing, <laughs> hey, uh, which is fantastic. 
So uh, Claire helped me uh, lay it out on the table. So all I'm going to do, actually I'm going to go the opposite way to which I said, I'm going to go from um, F01 across, so basically from the front of wing to the back. Um, and when I get to F05, that's when I need to start using the first 10 mil tube to get things aligned. Uh, but otherwise, doing the same routine using my activator pen, my mitre pen and my foam safe glue. And uh, it should go together pretty quickly, I hope. So here we go. Three, two, one. So there we go, that's the, and just one little piece to, one little piece to add on, that's taken a bit of an hour. Wow. That's oh, good. so look who's just turned up, just as I've finished. Oh, that's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I and like that's just one of the two wings. I like the way it curves there. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. There's a kind of a leading edge curve. Nice. Out towards the trailing edge. Um, but it does look rather good. That's pretty impressive, that. So, uh, let's, let me just glue on this last bit. Then we can say that this video is done. I'm not going to bore you by um, taking you through the last, the uh, second wing as well, because it will be an exact duplicate of this. But let's finish on a high and get that stuck on there like that and we'll be good so the important thing the one important thing with doing this wing is that obviously you you may have seen that part a third of the way across i was flipping them over i decided to because the focus should be the top side of the wing making sure that it, the the pieces are as flat and the, as as possible and you're maintaining a flat surface and that is almost it will need a light sand but it may be less so underneath but the focus should be the top of the wing so I'm really happy with that how about that that's a wing of an SR71 2.8 meter okay so thanks for tuning in for this one um, as I said, I'm going to do the uh, the left hand wing now, and uh, but in our next video we'll be doing the engine nacelles. Where um, that will be really really interesting because I'm really interested in as I build it, seeing what space is inside for the power system. Whether we're going to go EDF, whether we're going to go turbine, uh, I don't know, but it will soon become clear. I hope. So thanks for watching this one. See you next time.